believe and thou shalt be saved. Isaiah 9, 7, of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Luke 1 31, 33, and, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Romans 10, 2, 4, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to every one that believeth. 1 Corinthians 15:56 The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. James 2:10 For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Romans 6:23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5:12-15 Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God, and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. Romans 7.12 Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. 1 Timothy 1, 5 Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart, and of a good conscience, and of faith unfeigned. 1 Timothy 1, 9, 10 Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for menslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for menstealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 1 Timothy 1.19 Holding faith, and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. Romans 10, 9, 10 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation.